Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Tuesday, December the 18th. I'm Clay Emo at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm a founding member of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. And this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's actually my second video within the last two hours because breaking news, we just learned that defenseman Ole Ulevi, our fifth overall draft pick from 2016, is going to be out for the rest of this season as he recovers from knee surgery. And I'll read the press release from the Canucks right now. It says the Vancouver Canucks announced today that Ole Ulevi has undergone successful knee surgery and is expected to make a full recovery for training camp. After thorough evaluation, rest, and conservative treatment, surgery was determined by Canucks medical staff in consultation with specialists as the best option for Ulevi's long-term health and career. The surgery was successfully performed today with an estimated return to play timeline of six months. Six months from now, obviously being June, putting him in, you know, ready for the summer and ready for, for training camp late summer and September. So a lot of things to unpack here. Canucks fans are looking forward to Ulevi joining this lineup as early as, well, some are actually hoping for the end of this season, but obviously that's not going to happen. Now it will have to be at the start of next season. And we've talked before about the ramifications, the ramifications um, with him joining the lineup. Quinn Hughes is going to be in this lineup. They're going to give Ole Ulevi every chance to make the lineup. Then you still have Ben Hutton as a left-handed defenseman. And you, I guess the big one, Delzato will be gone by then. I guess the big one is Alex Edler. And we've talked about that before. We'll be talking about it again as we lead up to the trade deadline. Alex Edler on an ex expiring contract with a no-trade clause as a left-handed defenseman. So we know next year it will be Hughes, Ulevi, and a combination of Hutton or Edler if he comes back, or another free agent defenseman, whoever it may be. But so I guess in the big picture, this doesn't slow down or doesn't change the Canucks' plan for him to be in the lineup at the start of the next season. What it does raise is a bunch of concerns, obviously. Knee surgery is serious, right? The fact that it even got to surgery as such a serious surgery, everything we had heard early in the year, especially as Yulevi was coming up to Vancouver to seek out their medical staff, we, we never knew, we were unclear as to how serious that knee injury was. Well, obviously it's, being, it's very serious because he's out for the next six months. In the big picture, obviously this is a good thing um, if it means that he, he's fully recovered. And you know, Brock Besser had major surgery in the summer and we've, we're seeing the, the benefits um, of, of his successful surgery. You know, Levy's a little different that he, we haven't seen what he can do at the NHL level yet. He's different in, in that he's a defenseman. And there's still a lot of expectations on him, just like there are for any Canucks draft pick, like Horvat Vertanen and Pedersen and, and Besser, whoever it may be, and Quinn Hughes, of course. So I, I think that's the surprising thing. I, I'm not concerned. I think some Canucks fans may be really concerned because they're, they're already considering Olivia bust, which is, I think, unfair. He's only, he only got drafted two and a half years ago, and most guys take a draft plus one or even a draft plus two year, especially if they're defensemen. So yes, he got drafted by the Canucks in 2016, played a second year in London for the London Knights, then played a, a season in Finland. Then this season, he was um, playing for Utica and doing very well. He had 13 points in 18 games and was really making great strides in his game, both offensively and defensively, before he was shut down. They didn't know it before the entire year. Now we know it's for the entire season. So uh, being a member, a founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, being the optimist, I hope and I pray for a speedy recovery for Ole Ulevi. And if he comes back 100% healthy, confident, and ready to step up and take a spot, grab a spot on next year's team, then that's great. That's awesome. And that's probably the best case scenario that we can hope for now. We can't do anything about the draft in 2016. We can't change who we pick. I don't want to waste time comparing who got picked before him or after him. All I care about is that he gets healthy, that we look forward to him being in the lineup with Quinn Hughes next year, maybe with a Stetcher, with still a Tanev, forming a really, really good, but young, but a good, promising defensive core. So that's what I'm looking forward to. That's the big news, though, is that Ole Ulevi will be missing the rest of the season and will not be playing again until the summer and, and fully recovered for training camp as per the Canucks uh, press release. So Canucks fans, what do you think? Is this news surprising to you? Maybe it's very surprising like it was to me, how serious it was or how long term it's going to be. Maybe it wasn't a surprise to you. Maybe you had a gut feeling given all the, all the secrecy around his injury a few weeks ago. Uh, so what do you think of the surgery? What do you think of the time frame? And more importantly, does this change your view, your expectations of Ole Ulevi? Does it make you more excited to see him? Or are you worried about his development given that we haven't seen him yet? Uh, wherever, wherever you stand on this, I'd love to read your comments below. So leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply as always. Lots to talk about. Um, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. I did two other videos today. 
Um, I did one, of course, previewing the Canucks hosting the Tampa Bay Lightning. That was just a couple hours ago. And I did one earlier today, my, my two-on-one series, two minutes on one topic where I talked about shutouts and how Marc-Andre Fleury may once again capture the shutout title at the end of the season. So lots of content for you to go through on my channel today. But this one, Ole Ulevi, big news, out for the rest of the season, hopefully ready fully for training camp. Have a great day, God bless, and go Canucks go.